Well, howdy YouTube, Unky Joe here, Unky Joe's Playhouse. Today we're going to have a little fun with some old parts. We're going to build a, a new machine for the bench. Well, it's not necessarily for the bench, but that's what I'm calling this unit is the bench unit. We're going to build this unit entirely out of uh, either used, uh, well, a combination of used, spare, and new parts to see you, to, just to give you an idea of of uh, the cost associated with building uh, a PC these days. All right, so let's bring the parts list up here on the screen, give you an idea of what this build cost me, and then I compared it to a new build uh, using a Ryzen system. Now, keep in mind, some of the parts I chose on this are specific uh, to a Hackintosh. Uh, you know, pretty much any parts will run Windows 10, but the parts I got in the build on the left, the one that I ended up doing, were to be able to make it Hackintosh compatible. So I picked up a uh, used Gigabyte B885M-DS3H motherboard. I got that from China for about 68 bucks. It took two or three weeks to get here, but it was worth the wait. The board is in excellent condition. It worked great. Then I scored an i5-4570 quad-core processor off of eBay for 100 bucks, And if you look on the right-hand side, you'll see that's the current cost of a new i5-4570 on uh, Amazon. So we saved about almost $100 there. The case, I, I saw this in another build. I, I picked that up for $60. Bucks. Uh, I went with an RX 560 video card because uh, OS X Mojave supports the AMD video cards out of the box. Uh, there are there are problems with using an NVIDIA card, which is what I have on my other Hackintosh, and I didn't want to run into any problems with Mojave, so I went in and splurged and spent $135 on an RX 560 video card. I'm very happy with that card, by the way. I had some DDR3 RAM laying around from another build, uh, which is what that motherboard takes, so I threw 8 gig in there. I went ahead and splurged and got a Crucial. I couldn't believe how low the price of SSD drives have gotten. I picked up that Crucial 256 gig SSD for $55. Then I threw a, a, a regular spinning Western Digital 1 terabyte black drive I had in there that I had laying around. Uh, that's going to be the data drive. Uh, the CPU cooler I initially was going to get was a thermal take, but they were out of stock. Uh, it was about $15, so I went with a Rosewill for $10.99. I thought, oh, this will just get me through until I can, until those other coolers are back in stock. But after seeing the performance of this cooler, it's working well, uh, unless the fan dies on it, you know, because they have cheap sleeve bearings in them. Uh, it, it's cooling the processor just fine, even under full load. And then I had a 700 watt power supply laying around. Uh, it puts out about 630 watts on the 12 volt rail. Uh, the other nice thing about that RX 560 video card is it doesn't require supplemental PCI Express power. It gets it off the PCI Express lane, So, uh, and it's a 4 gig uh, video card as well. So the total came to 428.38 for that used new used build. And if you compare it on the one to the right, if you were to build a new Ryzen system like I have now, uh, with the motherboard and the, the CPU, uh, etc., all the similar parts, it came to 569.38. So uh, we saved about what 130, $140 on a new used build as a part as opposed to an all new build. Uh, so I just wanted you to see what the costs were right there. So the object of this build is to give you an idea of what you can do with a little bit less money uh, uh, with parts you have laying or you may have laying around like me. I've got a lot of spare power supplies and RAM and stuff like that laying around. So I wanted to see what I could build in the five, uh, $500 and lower price range. And this build came in right at about 450, 460, some right or, somewhere right around there. Uh, it's a mixture of new parts, it's a mixture of used parts, and it's a mixture of old parts I had laying around. But I just want you to see the kind of potential uh, you could get out of using uh, used parts and saving yourself some money in the process. So. Uh, let's go over the parts I used for this build, and uh, then we'll come back after that.
And this is the board I decided to go with. That's a uh, GAB85M-DS3H. Uh, it supports, uh, you can read the stats here on the screen. You know, I like Gigabyte motherboards. That's why I went with it. Uh, I got this from, uh, from a reseller over in China because I couldn't find any of them available here in the United States. And this is the board I wanted to go with. So I just go to the specifications real quick. Uh, the main reason I went with this board is because it's 100% Hackintosh compatible, pretty much out of the box. Uh, so uh, I went I went with that for ease of use, so I don't have to add a bunch of kex files to my Hackintosh later. So you can uh, you can see the specs here on the screen as I scroll down on them. All right, so without further ado, let's get these uh, parts put together and get get this machine built.
So there you go. It's built. It's up and running. It's uh, burning in on the bench right behind me here. And a, uh, a big shout out to Tech Yes City, who kind of was my inspiration for this video. Uh, this guy's uh, Australian. He's got a YouTube channel called Tech Yes City. And he builds, uh, he takes old machines that nobody wants anymore. He goes out and buys used parts and tries to build gaming and other types of machines out of them. Uh, entry level gaming machines and sometimes even high end gaming machines to see if people, uh, you know, if he can get them built uh, cheaply. Uh, you know, for people that can't maybe afford a brand new high-end gaming machine. So that was my goal with this. Now, uh, the plans for this, well, it's going to run Windows 10, it's going to run Linux, and it's going to run uh, OS 10 Mojave uh, because I want to be able to play around with Mojave, and that's why I went with this particular uh, group of parts to build this unit. So in further episodes and additional episodes I'm going to do on this build, we're going to go over how it performs under Windows I'm going to show you how to install OS X Mojave on it. Uh, I'm going to show you how I do my booting with the hard drives that are in it, etc. And then we're going to do uh, we're going to do some uh, uh, retro gaming on it, and we're also going to do some modern day gaming with this unit. So it's going to be an all-purpose kind of all-in-one kind of PC build. So there you go. We hope you found this video entertaining and informative. As always, please smash the like button. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Leave your comments down in the comments section. And if you're so inclined to donate, we take PayPal and Patreon, and that helps us to keep uh, good, good videos coming on this channel. So if you're inclined to donate, please do so. Thanks again for watching. Please come back and see us again. And don't forget, we will see you on the other side.